Assalamu alaikum. Hope you all are fine. Today I'm gonna demonstrate online shopping website assignment, which uh, which was assigned uh, to all of us by Sir Jamil. Firstly, I'll show you all the website. Then I'll demonstrate how I have made it. So let's have a look. This is the main page uh, with main categories having three categories laptops mobiles cloths uh, let's go into the cloths category and here we have three another categories for cloths cloths for gents cloths for ladies and cloths for kids uh, let's get into ladies so here are the items for ladies cloths uh, frog long shirt white jeans printed dress etc and this is the serial number this is the item name and this column is for item price uh, as you are see as you can see the prices are uh, different uh, this is uh, with this button you can add to cart the items you have selected uh, let's select some random items uh, for all uh, leopard and the white large shirt to cart so here I here are the items you selected uh, and the, here is the item price and here you can mention the quantity of the particular item and uh, this is the total price of all these items calculated automatically by the page so you can increase or decrease the quantity of your items if you leave it blank it will give an error you cannot put null or zero your null values will be counted as one and the confirm button will be disabled so you can uh, so, so you can't go ahead without fulfilling the form or fulfilling the quantity fields uh, let's select two quantities then the price will auto uh, will be generated automatically uh, from the quantities so if you have selected you cannot uh, uh, as you know you cannot use string or character values on integers so if you put then it will surely give an error in confirm button confirm button will be disabled so we have selected uh, all the items 4700 we are gonna confirm it confirm thanks your order has been placed click here to go back to home page here then uh, then you will be back on the main page let's get into mobiles uh, I have just uh, made page for Nokia mobiles here are some Nokia mobiles Nokia Asha 500 with 5500 rupees uh, let's select uh, let's select Nokia X. I want to buy two Nokia X. Okay, so let's add it to cart. And I have just one item here uh, with thirteen thousand rupees price. And I want to buy it buy two of it. So the price is auto generated. And let's confirm it. So like this, you can go through all the page uh, purchasing different items and I'll be adding receipt work in this uh, which will give uh, generate a receipt on the confirmation page so this is all I have uh, developed yet now I'll demonstrate how I have made it. So let's go into Eclipse ID. Uh, this is the main categories JSP. I have some JSPs here with main categories and the inner categories. So for database, for uh, the database of items, I have used my own uh, I have created my own database having 
uh, with my vectors dot java class file and uh, i call it my vector bank this is my database i have uh, the vectors for all the uh, categories uh, for some uh, mobiles gents uh, gents class ladies class kids class and uh, i have used the technique of final methods to initialize the vectors on the creation or on the calling of the or, or, or on the creation of the class on the loading of the class i use the final methods to initialize the uh, vector variables and these uh, these uh, final methods are initializing the uh, vectors like this vector init gents uh, uh, excuse me and in these vectors i am adding the object of item class and item is the class which i have made for a particular uh, for item for adding items and item includes a string a string which uh, is the name of the item and an integer which is the price of uh, the item here's the item class which includes the item name and item price uh, then we can get the item name and get the item price from the item object so here is the here's my vector bank uh, with ladies vector gents vector and uh, kids vector nokia vector and then i am uh, i have static methods to read uh, to get the vector uh, get some particular vector like uh, get gents vector get ladies vector then uh, in the jsp of uh, these objects i have got these vectors uh, i have created a vector data vector my vectors dot get gents vector so it will assign the gents vector object to the data vector uh, vector reference then i can uh, print all the items on my jsp like this so this is all and i have servlets for every jsp uh, which includes the item and i have the validation javascript to uh, for uh, first of all i uh, for before that i want to show you that how i have designed this uh, designed the table i have used an external css i have created it uh, to design the tables of my jsps and then i have the in for sending items to cart i have just one jsp named cart which receives all the items and works on that so this doesn't uh, want to be uh, want to be told that which kind of item you are receiving it will receive every item which you send it uh, send to it and i have javascript here to validate the form uh, on the cart page so this is all the cart page using Well, that's all. I'll be waiting for your feedback.